Okay, guys, at this point, we're going to talk about um, sketching in the courtyard. Um, I, of course, obviously, am not at my in the courtyard. I'm at my desk, but I brought some things from the courtyard um, to sketch from, and I just want to talk about drawing from life. So I'm going to zoom in a little closer here and talk about that. So this is a leaf, and you can see it's got all sorts of interesting things going on with it. When you're in the courtyard, you can find a little section to draw from or maybe find one object to draw from. And what we want to do, you can see this leaf is has like some, um, you know, different aspects of nature going on here. It's not perfect, which is true of a lot of things you're going to see in the courtyard. So you want to forget about the Microsoft clip art images of what things look like, and you want to really see. You want to really see what's going on with them here. So I'm going to leave this at the top of my sketchbook, and I'm going to look at it and draw from it and talk that through with you. So here I see at the base of it, there's this little kind of almost like a wart that's sticking up, and it looks like a chocolate chip. It comes down like this and out, and then kind of comes around. and. I'm forgetting anything that I know and I'm just really looking at it and you can't see me but I'm looking at the object more um, than I'm looking at my drawing because I don't want to forget what the drawing what the object looks like and start drawing what I think it looks like and that's what happens if we don't look enough so I usually say look at the object 80% of your time and look at your drawing 20% of your time and obviously that's not a hundred percent realistic sometimes we need to look at our drawing more than that but if you aim for this then you get something a little closer to what the um, the object looks like and right here I'm coming to the edge of my page and I'm not gonna fit this here so rather than force it on there I'm gonna let this go right off the page so right about here it's cropped off right off the page and then I'm going to come back to the edge here and I see there's a little place where this um, green stem comes down and this part of the leaf kind of overlaps the stem here and comes around then the stem comes out from under and down kind of curves around like this here and then this has like a brown spot here and there's a little kind of section that comes around this comes around and it starts to go in a little like a bug kind of had a little it for dinner a little bit there and this comes around and back up and I'm looking at how this goes in and then how it comes out a little here and then comes down and this part's kind of bumpy it's not so perfect and then it goes in and comes out. This is a really cool shaped leaf and it comes right off. Now down the middle here I do have a line but that line kind of is very faint so I'm just gonna draw that very faint as it goes down and out and ends up going off the page. And then in some of these places there's these smaller veins that come out to like one of these points in the middle and I'm really trying to observe what those lines look like here and they're very faint so I'm not going to draw them totally dark and I'm not going to draw all of them I'm just going to draw what I see of them and then over here this brown section kind of comes around this little wart thing here and it goes up Benton, Pill, please and around the here Benton, Pill, come to the main office, please. and then comes back up here there's a line it's not easy to see because it's kind of fuzzy it goes through the middle of this brown area here there's a little hole where it looks like maybe a bug got to it the leaf here and then this kind of comes up and there's a bunch of veins off here and then over here there's another one and you know there's some shaded areas here oh there's a tear in the leaf here and you can see almost like the thickness of the leaf there too which is kind of cool and then um, right here I'm gonna shade like around these um, veins because you can see the shading around those veins and then, let's see what else. 
right around here I see a little brown so that's probably pretty good for this um, I might move on to another one so um, I'm gonna keep going on this page because I still have all this room and I'm gonna move on to another object so what do I have for objects here you can look around the courtyard and find anything you want I found this cool leaf here with this berry so I'm actually gonna move it over here and I'm gonna start to draw just in a separate area um, the how this this stem kind of comes down and it fans out a little it gets a little wider here and then this kind of comes up and around and down it's bitten into a little here and comes into this small point and then it starts to go up and it's okay if it's not perfect but I'm trying to observe this next I see this other leaf coming out from it and it's actually torn so I'm going to draw that tear I'm not going to try to make it perfect because the beauty of nature is how imperfect it can be so let that show because it's going to make it feel more real sometimes we draw these like perfect flowers with all the perfect petals and it looks fake because it's just so unrealistic and then we're seeing this little bit of a vein and there's all sorts of these little like dirty areas that I'm gonna really not just make up but look and see the shapes of and then under here we see kind of a little bit of a darker area under here we see a little bit of shading so really coloring that and then blending it out and you don't have to do shading on these drawings but it's kind of fun to look at it and see then up here I see how this leaf comes around and goes kind of under itself here and then it comes back down and curves up because it's kind of moving here it's three-dimensional and I want to show that three-dimensionality here it's really dark under here and then it's got these lines of the veins that kind of come around and out it's got this kind of square I don't know if a bug was working on it or what but it's kind of dark there and then there are all these little marks of imperfe imperfection here and then right about here I see this berry part come out and this berry part is not perfectly shaped like this but I'm just gonna place this sort of basic shape of it down and then from there I'm gonna look and see okay here's the base of one of these circles and then there's kind of this like top of that part that comes out so these are like little I don't know like bumps they're like little mountains in it and like this comes off and comes around like this and this comes off and comes around like this so basically you want to forget everything you know about how to draw and you want to just observe and look at your object for 80 percent of the time and look at your paper for 20 percent of the time and that's really your goal so let's go out into the courtyard and make some courtyard sketches.